morning everybody it is currently 5 30 a.m so it is an early one i am currently on a three-day flight attendant trip today is day two i'm actually flying on this trip with my best friend tiffany it's been really fun last night we just ordered in some food from a local mexican restaurant and watched harry potter in bed so that was awesome and today we are going to somewhere very exciting oh i forgot to tell you yesterday we had two flights we went from dallas to phoenix and then phoenix here to des moines i'm in des moines iowa right now and today we go from des moines back to dfw and then from dfw to bozeman montana this is a layover that i have been wanting for a really long time tiffany and i have some fun plans for the layover and i can't wait to bring you all with us for that i went to bed last night at around 9 9 30 and when i tell you that as soon as i put my book down and my head hit the pillow oh my gosh i knocked out like i really needed the sleep this is actually the best that i have rested on a layover when i've had to wake up before 6 a.m in a while like i got really good sleep for having to wake up at around 4 30 this morning oh i don't know if you guys can tell but i got my hair done the other day so some fresh new blonde highlights and that's really all that's new i will see you guys either back in dallas or in bozeman montana We just got to our hotel here in Bozeman, Montana, and oh my gosh, you guys, it is absolutely gorgeous here. This is my view from the hotel window. I love the trees and the snow on the ground. It is so pretty. Our flight from Des Moines to Dallas was only an hour and a half long, but then our flight from DFW here to Bozeman was three hours long. But let me show you guys around this hotel room because it is so cool. So as soon as you walk in, we have a really nice bathroom through here. They even have amenities down here for us, which is so nice. It looks like we have a shoe sponge. I'm gonna guess this is lotion. And then we have this little vanity pack as well. These square toilets always look so funky to me. And then you guys know I am a sucker for a nice shower and oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there were two shower heads. Oh, that is so nice. It's like a spa. Lots of counter space too to get ready in the morning. And then we have two queen size beds. Across from that, a large TV and then a desk over here. I love this picture on the wall by the bed too. That is so scenic. I'm going to change, freshen up, and then we will get ready to head out. <laughs> today's fit super casual just some black leggings tennis shoes the same gray shirt that i was wearing last night this purple coat and i love this knitted headband eric actually gave this to me the first year that we were dating it was his first christmas present to me i love these knitted headbands that cover my ears but i can still wear my hair up so hopefully i'll be able to find more of those today when we go shopping downtown but yeah i think i'm ready to go So we accidentally just walked into this boutique salon that I thought was gonna have clothes in it, and it was just a salon. We need to find somewhere else to do some shopping and grab some food, because we're both hungry. Maybe all of five to ten minutes. And then we were so hungry, our 
stomachs were growling that we came to this restaurant called, well, if I can get the menus out, called Revelry. And if you have ever been here, let me know what you like to get. We're thinking of either pizza or a burger, but we did just get, um, we just ordered a glass of wine and we got some treats and fondue display. So that'll be a really good appetizer. I feel like you can never go wrong with fries and fondue. It was so good. Cheers to our first trip of the first month of us buddy, buddy bidding. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. the classic margarita pizza. I feel like I order this everywhere I go, but that's okay <laughs> because it is so good. And then we order this white pizza as well that has a honey glaze on it. That looks delicious. So dinner was fabulous. We came back to our hotel and changed into our bathing suits and we're waiting about half an hour before we take an Uber over to these hot springs that open at 6.30. But right now, look at what we're watching. <laughs> Tiffany is feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite Disney movie. It's so good. My dog is named Nala. Yeah, Nala, little Nala. So I'm guessing she's named after Nala. She is. This is the best part of the entire movie. And if anybody says they don't do this with their pet, that they can actually hold up, you're lying. <laughs> yes, you're lying. <laughs> Our Uber is one minute away, so I was not expecting them to get here that quickly, so we're gonna head down. Oh, zero minutes. Oh gosh, they're oh. already here. Okay, we gotta go. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> We made it over to the Bozeman Hot Springs and I'm so glad that we got here early before they opened because there's already a line outside the door to get your tickets or your admission into the pools and we're here like 15 or 20 minutes early. But oh my gosh, it is such a beautiful night. The scenery here is stunning. The mountains are gorgeous and just all around you. It is very cold though. So we're really excited to get into the warm water, but it's just gonna be such a fun night. We are so cold, but we're past Passing the time with Miss Luna. There's Eric. <laughs> Hi, babe. <laughs> Throw her another treat. Good. Oh, I can't see. We are currently waiting in line for a hot spring. It's freezing here. <laughs> Hit her in the little face. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> I'm on my tippy toes right now. Me too. <laughs> so the hot springs are cool. They're definitely a vibe, but get here earlier. And I would also suggest if you're gonna do this, go during the week when they're open all day, as opposed to a Saturday night, just because I feel like it's way busier now. And I can't really take many pictures or videos because it's so dark, <laughs> but it's still really cool. We are back at the hotel now. It is almost 9.30 p.m. So I'm gonna start reading and winding down to get ready for bed. But you guys, oh my gosh, I need to get to bed because we have another really early morning tomorrow. Our van pickup time in the morning is at 5.20 a.m. But here's the kicker. Tonight is daylight savings. So we lose an hour. So it's really like our pickup would be at like 4.20 in the morning because we spring forward an hour, I think at two in the morning. So instead of it going from like 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., it's gonna go from 1 a.m. until 3 a.m. So we lose that hour of sleep. But at least tomorrow, knock on wood, is going to be an easy day. We just have the one flight home to DFW. So I'm currently reading the third book, The Crown, oh, let's see if it'll focus, The Crown of Gilded Bones, 
It's part of the From Blood and Ash series. I'm on the third book now. And the author, Jennifer L. Armentrout, announced on Instagram the other day that Amazon Studios bought the film rights for this series. So I'm so excited. One of my favorite fantasy book series so far is going to be brought to life in film. So I am really looking forward to that. But for now, I am just going to read and go to bed. So I will see you all very bright and early tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. It is currently 5.10 a.m. Our pickup is at 5.20, so I'm gonna head downstairs in a few minutes, but oh my gosh, it was so hard to get up this morning. I struggled and I was moving as slow as a zombie, so I'm probably gonna get some coffee or something before working this flight, but usually my energy picks up and I'm always like chipper and happy when it's time to fly again, but in the morning when I'm still just relaxing in my hotel room, I. I'm a bit sleepy and very tired. My alarm went off this morning when I was still dreaming. So I know that I was in that REM cycle. And so it made it really, really hard to wake up. But luckily for us, like I mentioned yesterday, we do only have that one flight back to DFW. So we should be home around noon today. We are going to have a great day and I will see you guys later. We made it to the Bozeman airport and I'm looking at magnets right now. But you guys, I have to get this one because it looks like Luna. Does that not look like Luna? I just have to get this. This airport is so cool. It reminds me of a log cabin with the wooden ceilings. Oh, and while I'm here, I feel like I should get Luna a dog toy just because they have them. I like this little fox. This one might be too little for her though. I don't know if she's ever had a fish. $23, maybe not. That's a bit too pricey just for a dog toy. I just got home and Luna is getting the zoomies. Hi, baby. <gasps> she was running around and spinning in circles. I missed it on camera, but you can tell she was hyper. Hi, Luna girl. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, I missed you too. Here is the magnet that I said looks like Luna that I got in Montana. And here is Luna. So Luna, does this look like you? Oh no, that's not for you to eat. Luna, that's not a treat. Luna. I want this one like up top. Like it deserves to be like up here. Yeah, that looks good. And it's right next to her party animal national fetch day magnet. Oh, and then I also got this magnet because I like to get ones that say where I've actually traveled. So I got this one that says Bozeman, Montana, and it's in the shape of Montana, but I really like this one because it has the mountains and we got to see that when we were there. So I'm gonna put that one down here.